Hola. <laughs> Today we'll review how to form the present tense of regular verbs in Spanish. First, though, let's take a look at the verb to speak in the present tense in English. I speak. You speak. He, she, it speaks. We speak. They speak. Now, if we remove the subject pronouns, what happens? We have no idea who is speaking. In English, we need the noun or subject pronoun in order to understand what the subject of the sentence is. In Spanish, however, we can sometimes omit the subject because Spanish is an ending-oriented language. From the verb ending alone and from context, listeners will know the subject of the sentence. We'll explore that idea more in just a little while. But first, conjugation. Regular present tense verbs in Spanish are grouped into three families. The AR family, the ER family, and the IR family. In the AR family, all regular verbs take the same endings. To form the present tense, we simply drop the AR of the infinitive to get the stem. Hablar becomes H-A-B-L. To this stem, we add O, as, a, amos, ais, an, hablo, hablas, habla, hablamos, hablais, hablan. Yo hablo inglés. When you speak about yourself, you use the ending O. Isabel doesn't always have to include yo. Hablo inglés muy bien. The O ending already implies she is talking about herself. When speaking to a friend, use the ending as. ¿Tú hablas español? Sí, hablo español. ¿Hablas italiano? When talking about someone, use the ending a. Él habla francés y español. Y ella habla italiano. ¿Usted habla dos lenguas? The same ending, a, is also used with usted. Remember, in any of those examples we just saw, we can always choose to eliminate the subject, and by context and verb ending, our listeners will almost always know who the subject is. But in some situations, in order to be perfectly clear, it is wise to include the subject or subject pronoun. For instance, in my class, somebody habla italiano, but who? Isabel habla italiano. When talking about yourself and someone else, here a mixed group of boys and girls, use the ending amos. Nosotros hablamos español solamente en la clase del profesor Cruz. We could choose to leave out nosotros and the sentence would still be perfectly correct. Although the group is now all female, nosotras, the verb form hablamos, does not change. Nosotras hablamos por teléfono todos los días. When talking about a group of people, here all female, the ending is an. Ellas hablan italiano muy bien. The same form hablan would be used if the group was mixed or all male. ¿Y ustedes? ¿Ustedes hablan español con sus amigos? The AN ending is also used with the plural form of you. Ustedes. Now on to the ER and IR verbs, or the second and third conjugations. ER and IR verbs share many of the same endings. Let's compare an ER verb, comer, and an IR verb, vivir. The stem of comer is C-O-M. And the stem of vivir is V-I-V. Now, let's conjugate. Como, vivo. Comes, vives. Come, vive. Comen, viven. The regular ER and IR verbs have exactly the same endings in the first, second, and third person singular, and in the third person plural forms. Two forms are not the same in ER and IR verbs. They are the nosotros and vosotros forms, and they go like this. 
comemos, vivimos, coméis, vivís. So how would you conjugate the regular ER verb, leer, and the regular IR verb, escribir? Leemos, escribimos, leís, escribís. It's really important to learn present tense endings by heart now. Learn to pronounce them clearly and spell them correctly. Let's finish up by looking at the AR, ER, and IR verbs side by side. Ready? Hablo, como, vivo, hablas, comes, vives, habla, come, vive, hablamos, comemos, vivimos, habláis, coméis, vivís, hablan, comen, viven. Great! Now let's practice three more common regular verbs from each family. Mirar, Leer, escribir. Miro, leo, escribo. Miras, lees, escribes. Mira, lee, escribe. Miramos, leemos, escribimos. Miráis, leéis, escribís. Miran, leen, escriben. Present tense of regular verbs. In this activity, you will practice conjugating regular verbs in the present tense. Complete each sentence with the correct form of the verb in parentheses. Good luck! Habla. Adela habla con sus amigos. Leo. Yo leo el libro. Vivimos. Nosotros vivimos en España. Comes. Tú comes a las siete. Miran. Los estudiantes miran un DVD. Recibo. Yo recibo muchos regalos. Bebe. Usted bebe una gaseosa. Tomamos. Nosotras tomamos una merienda. Adiós. 